recording. Yay. What's going on guys and welcome to Honaker Vlogs. Today, I will be doing the roommate tag. <laughs> Introducing my one and only roommate, Robert Flores, or as the kids call him, Rob. So before we start the video, I just wanna say I'm sorry for not making a video in a long time. I said I wouldn't be making a video for a couple weeks, but it ended up being a couple more weeks in a couple weeks because of the fact that, well, college. It's been annoyingly tough. Lots of work. Lots of moving in at the beginning. No, I'm not. Are we still moving in? Um, about a nice love, like two more boxes. Two boxes? Yeah. I have five. So we're still moving in, so that's yeah. still a part of it. That being said, let's get on with the video. Are you excited? I'm excited. Yes, I'm excited. I'm excited. Yay. All right, we're doing this. Uh, Got it. All right. Two le questions. Question numero uno. Did you guys know each other before you became roommates? Yes. Yeah. We knew each other last year. Mm -hmm. We weren't very close at the beginning of the year, but then when it came around second half, we decided to get to know each other. And because of that, we're now roommates. I thought it was kind of weird, so... Yeah. Sorry. Question number two. <laughs> Question number two. What did you guys initially think of each other the first time you met? Oh, 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 oh no. That's okay. A good one. Uh, All right. First. Why me? Okay. Um, I can go first. I go for it. Now yeah, you go first. All right. Well, when I first when I first met Stephen. Oh gosh. Um, I just I thought it was very hyperactive. So I didn't know how, <laughs> if he was going to be a really good friend or not, because, I don't know, I'm usually pretty calm, so, yeah. I don't know, but he turned out to be a great friend, he's awesome, <laughs> I love him, and all his, Aww. all his <laughs> hyper, hyper, hyperactive, <laughs> all of his hyperactiveness. Alright, the first, I think the first thing I thought of Robert, I just thought he was very strict at first. Like, I saw him, like, walking around, and his, he always wears, like, bow ties and, like, fancy stuff. So the first time I saw him, I was just like, that guy's probably going to be very annoying. But then I met him, and he turned out to be, like, one of my best friends ever. So, don't judge a book by its cover, ladies. Even if it's very handsome. And men. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're a child. You're two years old. <laughs> Question number three, how long did it take until you guys became friends? A week? Two weeks? It's like probably about a week or two. I mean, we knew each other vaguely walking around the halls, but we never like knew each other. So, um, I'll say a couple weeks. Yeah. Next question, what do you guys usually argue about? We don't. Do we argue? We really don't argue much. No. We argue what type of video on YouTube is better, like PewDiePie or CNanners. Definitely CNanners. Mm, it's debatable. It's debatable. PewDiePie. <laughs> I'm gonna let you finish. I'm gonna let you finish. But PewDiePie has some of the greatest videos of all time. The next question is, what is one thing that really bothers you that your roommate does? This is a good question because I feel like we have stuff hidden inside that we might want to say. It could get ugly. So. Oh shoot. All right, you go first, because I want to, I want to, just, because it's not going to, we're, we're not going to be offended. We're just going to be like, okay, well, I can work on that. Definitely. So, what's the first thing? Hmm. Well, the sink gets a little bit cluttered with all of your stuff. So. True. Yes. I'm going to have to fix that up. What else? Or is that it? Just lay it all that's, out. That's honestly it. Oh. Okay. All right, mine, I got to think. I think the main thing is because I can't complain. Basically, Robert has early classes, I have later classes, right? So I have like, I can't, I don't have to wake up till like 10 usually, at like at the earliest, which is not bad at all. But like the only thing is just noise in the morning. Other than that, there's really nothing else. It's basically it. So, oh, and your desk. It's too many books on it, it makes me feel dumb. I don't read half of them. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> What's the next one? <laughs> Okay, so we're getting these questions off like the original one, the original video, which was two girls who made it. So we're gonna, oh. we're gonna continue. All right. We're gonna look at the next question. What is this? <laughs> Do you guys both have the same passion for makeup? I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> um, hmm. I mean, personally, I like to borrow his blush. <laughs> um, because sometimes mine is 
It's not the right tone. I mean, the blush, the blush is important. Yes, the blush is very. It really. <laughs> well, you see, he's getting a little bit more wet, so oh. you can try to like even tone that, that down. <laughs> if he gets a more um, base skin skin tone in there, <laughs> um, I also run out of. Um, Why are we still doing this? Eyeliner a lot, so I used to I use his eyeliner quite a bit, as you can. You know, wear, wear, tell. wearing makeup makes me feel like a princess. <laughs> It makes me feel like royalty. He's such a diva. They call me Kim. Kim K, or as the kids say, Kim Kardashian. That was a good question. <laughs> that was a great question. <coughs> yeah. But now we're on to the next question. Which is? Let's see, let's see what it is. Who spends the most time getting ready in the mornings? Oh. Look, on the count of three, let's say our answers. Three, three two, two, one, one me. me. What? Hold up. Hold up! Whoa, 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 whoa! Wait. Whoa, 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 whoa! Well, first of all, neither of us are really here when the other one's getting ready. I'm in class when he's getting ready, and he's asleep. So I mean, Pop, I time it. I wake up every morning and time it, and I'm lo I take longer to get ready. I believe you. I don't. I don't time myself. I time myself every morning. <laughs> to see how long it takes me to get... No, the reason I'm saying that is even though... Uh, now I'm starting to debate it. Okay, my morning routine... My, my blush takes a little bit longer than yours. <laughs> I mean, the lipstick really kills me in the end. It really does. It yeah. takes at least 20 minutes. And the next question is, do you guys sometimes get fed up with each other from seeing each other too often? I Personally, I don't. Because, I mean, we're not really here all the time. The majority of the time, we're usually... Like, how our dorm works is it's like a big L, right? You got the girls' dorms L. and the guys' dorms, and then you have this big common area in the middle for every floor. There's there's eight, nine floors, and there's like, we're on the seventh. So basically, we're usually hanging out in the common area, which is like where all the guys and girls can just chill. So, I don't get fed up at all with seeing him too much because we don't really see each other that often, even though we do see each other every day. The next question is, how do you avoid tension whilst living together? Have we had any? We haven't had any no. tension. We're pretty good roommates. Like yeah. this, this is this is this, this is has working. helped me to show that we really are pretty good roommates. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but a way to avoid tension, hmm. I think number one, one of the main reasons or like the main ways to avoid tension as a room is to like just give them their own space. Because if you're like trying to talk to them 24/7, you have to give them their kind of personal space to kind of do their own thing and not just bother them all day. So, that's my, that's a, that's a way to avoid tension. We're gonna have tension coming up here, Robert. Is there something you haven't told me? Yes, I've adopted a monkey for our room. That's what I haven't told you yet. Where's he living? He's living in your bed. If I make contact with him, he will punch you in the face. What's one rule you guys have while living together? We don't have rules, do we? No. It's anarchy in here. <laughs> it's crazy Friday nights. We turn up with some Mentos and possibly Coca-Cola. Sometimes <laughs> cream soda. <laughs> cream soda. Cream soda is good. Yes. For both the soul and the cream. <laughs> what does that even mean? Next question is, how do you deal with sharing a bathroom? I don't think it's a big deal. That's a girl question. That's a girl question. Next question. And, and the makeup wasn't a girl question. <laughs> yeah, <true. laughs> Alright, the next question is, do you use your roommate's things without asking? I don't. I don't. Or do I? <laughs> the next question is, what is the funniest thing you've done together? That mine was pretty funny. I don't know if you can advertise in your own videos. Watch it. Check me out on Vine, Instagram, Twitter, other things that I'm not actually gonna. I'm too lazy to actually put the links in. So I'm just. I'm just I want at, links too. I'm just pointing at thin air. Follow Robert Flores at. I don't have anything. But follow him nonetheless. Yes. The last question is: Has being roommates helped or hurt your relationship? I think personally Help. it has helped. Definitely. Because we've become we've become really close um, this past year, and since last year, I'm really glad that we actually decided to be roommates. 
I was actually considering staying on another part of campus. The only reason I was going to move to the Commons was because of Robert. And so, now that I've been here, now that I actually checked out the Commons, it's awesome. And being with Robert is just another kind of perk. So, personally, it's helped me to get closer to Robert. Yeah. Same thing. I love the Commons. I love Steven. So... He's been an awesome roommate thus far. We'll see if <laughs> okay. the rest of the year holds true, <laughs> but I think so. So I love him. It's awesome. <laughs> Yay! My boy! My boy! With that, ladies and gentlemen, we are going to finish off this video. Robert doesn't know this yet, I don't. but with a dance battle. <laughs> Done. We're doing it. We're doing it. Be ready. You ready, Robert? No. <laughs> no, I'm not. The first, the first dance move is this one. I know. No. Go ahead. No. It's your turn to dance, Robert. Do you want to be that person on YouTube? Thank you guys so much for watching and tuning into the video. Thank you for being patient with me as well. I appreciate you guys so much. I'll be uh, hopefully making more videos more often now that I'm back at school and getting kind of used to it. Um, but yeah, this was fun time with Robert. And Steven. That was not planned. No, he did not see that coming at all. I'm actually kind of shocked. But anyways guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you guys for the next video.